on your treasure dive I've got nothing to lose After years with the blues Oh, you know, you know About them eyes and love An angel is what I need To bring me up to full speed The shades of blue everyone uh, welcome back to my channel I um, didn't I've already been awake for like three hours now it's uh, 758 so it's eight o'clock and you haven't seen much of my day um, for like this morning routine but that's because at about five o'clock a.m. I get up with um, my fiance Jason and I make him breakfast and I make him lunch for the day and uh, that's kind of hard to film because um, like I'm half asleep and I'm just trying to like help him out the door because he usually leaves around uh, six so I make him breakfast real quick and then we do that and then at like 6 30 this morning Jay woke up like my son Jason and uh, he usually never wakes up that early usually the kids get up anywhere between like seven and eight o'clock but this morning he got up exceptionally early, so I didn't like, I usually like after Jason leaves at about six, like I'll sit down with coffee um, and just watch like some TV and just try to wake up because like, like I said, I'm like half asleep. It's five o'clock in the morning, so I'm half asleep. Um, but this, uh, what was I trying to say? So the kids are both awake right now and I'm just um, about to make them breakfast and myself breakfast. Uh, I made Big J, we'll just call him Big J, I made him pancakes this morning, so I just have some leftover, um, like, mix that I didn't use because I only made him two pancakes, and I usually do that, I just, if I'm making him pancakes in the morning, I'll just make a little bit extra batter, and then when the kids wake up, I can just make them pancakes real quick, but they're going to be having that with a little bit of yogurt some blueberries and they're both gonna split this banana but I don't know what I'm gonna have should I make a smoothie I feel like I always make a smoothie in these videos like any sort of eating videos but <sighs> um but I just it's so easy to make and it's like my go-to but yeah if you guys like this morning routine you want me to do more routine videos like this make sure to give this video a thumbs up oh She's trying to get to the food that's right in front of her. Anna, look. Look at how crazy you're being. Say hi. Hi. Speed. <laughs> breakfast just consists of two eggs a bagel with some cre cream cheese and about a half of an avocado I'm not really good at presentation but I mean like whatever this is pretty high calorie but we're gonna be out and about pretty much all day so I need fuel I notice if I don't I notice oh. I notice if I don't like eat enough for breakfast like I'm really cranky and like I I'm not like as energized and like ready to take on the errands 
as I would be if I just ate some damn breakfast. Are you sitting together watching a movie? So literally the last part of like our morning routine is like me getting ready basically for the day. Um, I always do this last because I like to just stay in my pajamas as long as possible. This is what I've been using every day on my face. I also use the, um, the cleanser too. I don't know. It was on clearance one day at Meyer. It's been like 30 degrees here in the morning in Michigan. So that's pretty, uh, it's pretty dang cold. It's only October. So it's still fall. That's fall. We got like a few days of like that perfect fall weather where it's like you wake up and it's like 50 degrees. And then by the end of the day, it's like almost 70. That's like perfect fall weather. But not here. It's already freaking cold. Um, so I usually start out with my hair first to let my moisturizer like sink in and really absorb into my skin. I, my hands are so dry too, so I'm putting on some lotion because, well, my hands are dry. And my lips. So this is the chapstick that I use. I don't know why. I've just had it. That's just what I use. So uh, I usually sleep with my hair down and then when I wake up, I just need it on my face cause I'm like, you know, tired. How stupid is that face? So I just wanted to give you guys a little bit of a, uh, like just talk with you guys while I get ready. A little bit of like a life update sort of thing. Um, so first, uh, if you like follow me on any other social media, um, you might not know, but you probably already do know that I did start selling uh, unique products. Oh, my hair is so staticky. Everything is static. Um, I never really use dry shampoo. I don't get that much oil in my hair, like ever. I mean, this is like, I washed it on Monday. Today is Friday. So that's how long it's been since I washed my hair. But and it, it doesn't look like greasy. I don't know. So, uh, 
oh yes i started selling unique products which i'm like super excited about because i used to really be into makeup and i would do like the whole routine like foundation contour you know bronzer highlighter blush eyeshadow mascara i used to do it all um and like eyebrows and what have yous and i was really into it and i loved watching makeup videos and i loved testing new products and then I had kids. <laughs> and not saying that like you can't have kids. And uh, if you're wondering where I'm looking, you're like right in front of my mirror. I hate these little baby, like postpartum baby hairs. And I have to, cause I have naturally like curly hair. I mean, not it's not like pretty curls. So it's just frizzy, so I straighten it because that's the only way I feel like I look presentable and like, you know, somewhat human and not so homely. Um, what was I saying? Oh. And so I have to straighten them every day because every time I wash my hair, they get wet. I should just buy like a headband to put them back, but, or even when I take a shower, they get all frizzy and, um, because of the humidity. So I have to straighten them. Oh, hello. So I have to straighten them every day. She's going to attack the camera. I am sure of it. And I'm sure that, uh, me straightening them does not help them grow back, but you know, I have to do what I have to do. Oh, here she comes to ruin my shot. Anna, I'm just trying to get ready. Um, I can usually do this within like oh, 10, 15 minutes, but since I'm talking and not really focused a whole lot, it'll probably take me a little bit longer. Maybe oh, we'll see. Um, so yes, I did start selling unique products. Um, because, like I said, I was really into makeup, and I really like doing it, and I never look at what I'm doing. I just kind of go through. Because I usually end up with, like, kinks or, like, random stuff from, like, putting my hair up and down all day or whatever it may be. Or Because I showered last night, so I had it up in a ponytail, and the humidity made kinks in my hair. So, um, yes, I started selling Unique, so I'm going to be using some Unique products, like, in this video. Uh, and I will have like everything that I've even that I've used, even this like Aveeno moisturizer. I will leave like a link to it, or I'll just name it down below if I can't find a link, and maybe you can find it at like a drugstore. Or, I don't know. We'll just see. We're not going anywhere special. I mean, we're going to Target. That's pretty special. But we have a few gifts that I need to get. We are already doing Christmas parties, <laughs> but that's okay because. By the time Christmas rolls around, we won't have as much stuff to do. It's really crazy, like, especially with kids trying to run around and, like, see family and get to everything. And, like, you feel bad if you can't make it because, like, your kids are going crazy and, like, you already, you know, you just want to be at home one day. So, uh, this is kind of nice because then we don't have to, like, worry about not being able to make it or whatever. If there's, like, another party on the same day, that sucks. That really sucks and if there's like two different parties on the same day and you feel like bad not going to one so you like try to push yourselves and go to both and like the kids end up being cray. So that's pretty much, I mean sometimes I'll, I will uh, like curl it with my straightener. I used to have a curling one and then it broke. So I just kind of curl it a little bit with my uh, straightener sometimes but it's a lot easier to just leave it straight. And it looks longer when it's straight, so I like it. I'm trying to grow my hair out for the wedding. Oh, I look, look at this. I'm like hanging out here. Pull it together, Shell. Um, I'm trying to grow it out for the wedding. So I should probably stop straightening it so much. It's such a high heat. But it's, if you, the higher the heat, the quicker you can straighten your hair, man. And I try to be good with my time. Because I have so many other things going on that I want to just spend time with my kids and still get all my things done. So that's pretty good. I mean, whatever. It's probably going to end up in a ponytail by the end of the day. Anyways, so I'm going to use taffeta today or should I use organza? Why are you sucking on my brush? What if I wanted to use that? Girls, should I use taffeta or chiffon? I will use taffeta, or should I, I mean, I don't know, my face is like a lot whiter than my body right now because I've been self-tanning. Um, 
taffeta might be a little bit dark, but that's fine. Whatever. I'll roll with it. Um, oh, I'm going to put on some face primer first. So it's like a clear consistency like that, which I like because it fills in pores. I'm always, I always start at my nose because that's where I have the most pores and like I need, that's where my makeup comes off the fastest is my nose, like which is just natural, it's just separation. And my chin because I touch my skin, my chin constantly. If the camera is shaking, that's because Anna is messing with it. Yes, you are. Oh, and here comes Big Bad Jay. Come to steal a show. Anna, please stop. Here you go, sis. All right, guys. Anna, no, no, no. No, 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 no. All right, so this stuff, very powerful. Very powerful, this stuff is. The Liquid Touch Foundation. It's very full coverage, which I do enjoy, but not usually on an everyday basis do I wear a full coverage foundation. So this is nice for like date night for me personally. Um, some people like full coverage every single day. Anna, oh sissy, you pooped. What the heck? Got a little breakout right there. And right here. You stink, girlfriend. Like, really bad. What's what? What is this? And I don't wear concealer either all that often. Maybe every once in a while, but I usually try to keep it pretty light and easy. Especially with all this going on. Anna, you stink so bad. Okay, I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to go change that because that's rancid. There was shit up her back and all in her pants. I washed my hands like seven times and it got all over the floor. So I had to clean the floor. Take a picture. Cheese. Cheese. <laughs> Cheese. All right. Can you go play for mommy, please? Okay. Okay. <laughs> Is mommy pretty? Is mommy pretty? Thank you, buddy. What's next? Oh, yes. Powder. I'm just going to use my Maybelline Fit Me that I've been using forever. And I just hit try. pan. And try. Hi. Mo mommy, do it first, okay? Oh, I usually, I uh, just really try to set my eyes and my chin. Because that's what's going to get... Uh, Oily the fastest on my nose. Uh, Pretty much is everywhere. All right, all right, Jay. Please, you have to just sit down. Hey, uh, okay. It's me singing. Now I'm just gonna go with bronzer. Same bronzer I have been using forever. Um, just the benefit hula. Love it. I use it, um, most, I use it a lot as an eyeshadow too, honestly. Uh, just cause it's like the perfect transition shade and it kind of pulls your whole look together when like your cheeks and everything matches your eyes. I don't really know if I'm putting it on right ever, but it looks fine. I don't really want to contour, but I do want to bring back some definition into my face. So I'm just going to use uh, now the Pure Afterglow Highlighter. I've been using this for like three years and it's like beaten to hell. Like, <laughs> it, I broke it. Jay, um, I broke it like a year ago. 
I'm still using it. Still works. Same product. Just a little bit, you know, homely. That's a good word for today. Homely. I don't know why, but I like a lot of nose highlighter. For some reason, I feel like it pulls the whole entire look together and I do lots on my brow and like above my brow. Okay. I think that's pretty good, let me see. That's pretty good for now. All right, what's next? Oh yeah, brows, 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 brows. Where's my pencil? Uh, there it is, okay. I just use these like super duper cheap e.l.f. Um, I use the eyebrow pencil in, nobody would ever know the color, but it's this color. Uh, I don't know. Works just fine to me. I don't think that there's really much of a difference. Well, it's not a pencil. It's um, like a stick sort of thing. And I don't need much. I just kind of fill in where it's sparse, like right here mostly. And then like I'll line them a little bit. And yeah, just, I don't need anything too fancy. Cause like I said, I pretty, ha I have pretty thick dark eyebrows to begin with, but it's just nice to have something a little extra. Oh, my battery's gonna, this is great. This is good news here. Ugh, I'm almost done. Okay. Uh, ch -ch 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 -ch. Probably won't be doing much eye today just because I don't really feel like it, but I might do a little bit of something with the um, addiction I don't know what palette this, the name of the palette. Uh, there's a one, two, or three. This is, these are the shades that you get with the palette. And um, I'm probably just gonna go in with something like super duper duper. Gecko. Hi, Gecko. Maybe a little bit of uh, honorable, just, oh, in my crease. This one right here. And then maybe a little bit of shimmer, but that's gonna be about it for my eyes today. I just kind of want to look like natural. And so I'm gonna do that. I might go in with a little bit of um, cocky here, just like a tiny, 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 same brush, don't really care. Just like a tiny little bit, focus it on this crease. Whoa, that got dramatic quick, sis. Okay, blend, blend, blend. Oh yeah, that got pretty dramatic pretty quickly. This stuff is pigmented. So, I mean, but when does that not happen? When do you not start doing an eye look and then it just goes from zero to like 100 quick? So my battery's probably gonna die any second now, but what I'm gonna do is um, after I'm done with this, I'm gonna use my Epic Mascara, which if you haven't heard of it already, then clearly you've been living under a rock. Uh, it is probably the best mascara on the market right now, in my opinion. It reminds me a lot of, like, the Tarte Lights Camera Lashes, that mascara, um, but I, I don't get, it's not, like, uh, cakey. What's cakey? Not cakey. Um, doesn't make my eyelashes clumpy. Like, the wand reminds me of that wand, or the voluminous wand. It kind of reminds me of that, but both of those make my lashes pretty clumpy, and um, I don't really have a lot of, like, I don't have sensitive skin or sensitive eyes or anything like that, but people with sensitive eyes normally don't have a reaction with the Epic Mascara, which is nice because, I mean, most of the products with Unique are used with natural ingredients and the high quality ingredients, so it's probably why that most people don't have a reaction to most of the products. Um, but, oh, I feel like I need something on my lid now. Maybe I'll just do a little bit of uh, eyeliner and uh, eyeliner. Yeah, maybe I'll just do a little bit of eyeliner. Okay, so, oh, ooh, 
These are so dirty. My closets are so dirty. Don't even look at them. You got the balls. Um, so I finished getting ready and this is, this is how I look. I didn't mean to put on so much eyeshadow, but you know what? When I have some feeling it, but this is the um, Epic Mascara. Like, bam, bam, thank you, ma'am. Um, so, what was I gonna say? Oh, I'm gonna show you my outfit real quick. Anna is right here trying to jump off the bed because she likes to do that sort of thing. All right, so this is just my outfit. Oh, the lighting is terrible. Because, oh, here we go. I'm just wearing some Fabletic leggings, this tank top that's actually inside out, but here's a little life hack for you guys. If, um, nine times out of ten, like, I destroy tank tops, like, especially white ones, I always get dirty. There's always some sort of stain on the front, so instead of going out and buying a new tank top, like, every other week, I flip the tank top inside out. You probably can't do this in the summer because people will be like, oh, your tank top's inside out. But in the fall, you put something over it and you can't tell from the front that it's inside out unless you look at like the side here and you can see the rivets, obviously. But yeah, so there you go. You're welcome, everybody. And then just I'm wearing this flannel from like two years ago that it's kind of comfy, but kind of not. It's kind of itchy, but... I got it from Target like forever ago. Um, but this is, this is me today. What's up, we're going to run errands, but yeah. So, tank top hack, you're welcome. Little get ready with me. Um, and uh, I'm gonna end the vlog here. Why are you chewing on my face serum? You're quiet, so I guess it's fine. Um, I'm gonna end the vlog here because this is like the end of our morning routine pretty much. This is what we do every single day. I don't like get ready like this every single day, but I do do something with like my hair or my face or whatever. If it's even just throwing my hair up in a bun, like I still sit down and do something and I get dressed every day. These are just like little things that like help me feel normal and like I'm ready to go out into the world if I need to be, uh, if I need to. And um, so I'm going to end this here. I hope you guys enjoyed. And everything that I used in this video, like the, the makeup part and like everything like that, I will put in the description box. So that way if you guys want um, to know what it is or if you are interested in buying it, um, the link will be right in the description thing. Thingy thing. Um, anything else, Anna, you want to add? No? Okay. Well, I hope you all have a wonderful day, and I hope you had a wonderful weekend, and make sure to give this video a thumbs up and hit that red subscribe button before you go. Bye.